I come from a freestyle background and uh, I used as well to go to Alaska since six years and this year I really wanted to try something like way much more crazy for me and the place was Chamonix. It's a place where I have one of my best friends from boarding school, Pierre Hortic. He's becoming a guide and we're really stoked to meet up together and, and to be able to do this project. What's so crazy about Chamonix is that you can just take a gondola and then in 20 minutes you're on top of the gnarliest lines you would ever ride and do like a 1,200 meters super steep run. But all those lines are definitely not rideable all year long. You need to wait like the whole year, the entire year, to have this one day where all the conditions come together and boom, when the day is good, you gotta go. You're always riding with the harness on. You always have your ice crews. You always have a rope. It's a totally different approach of the mountain, I would say, over there. Way much more alpine, where you need to combine mountaineering and steep riding. One of my best memories from this winter was probably when we finally got to ride the Aiguille du Plan. We've been looking for it for so long, the entire winter with binoculars, checking the forecast. I was even flying sometime with my paraglide next to it to check the conditions, see if the ice was starting to get like under the snow and then we could finally ride it. And then finally, the last day of the season, we made it happen and, and I even got able to fly fly off from this last hanging glacier, so that was like a really good time. And then we just met with Pierre and Yannick at the bar, and then we just celebrated. It was really amazing to finish the season this way. Fin de la saison, là, peut-être. Hein? Ouais, j'ai l'impression. Moi, je crois que c'est la fin. Là. I come from a freestyle background, and uh, I used as well to go to Alaska since six years. And this year, I really wanted to.